We've picked up a 750 angle line, which you've seen us in berries. Got a 904B3 for the inside. <clears throat> Get that. Now that's a nice fit. Just look, the blocks are just in such a poor condition. The levels are different. The, some of the blocks have been broken away completely. So it just took a bit of trial and error getting them level. We've gone over by a day now. That's what the scaffolds cost us, an extra day's labour. So that's our early morning run to berries, it's just opened here. Customers asked us to do an extra lintel onto the window we did a couple of days ago. We've had a couple of days off because we're still waiting for the um, scaffolders. And we're back today. Scaffolders are meant to be coming today, but we can get this lintel done today now as an extra. So just that's what we're here to pick up. And we're gonna go up the shop, to the toy shop, and try not to spend any more money. That's it, isn't it? Just lentils. Let's go. <laughs> this afternoon what's the weather it's you'll nip nipping to pick up stuff up right friday the 14th i don't have to check the date today because it was alex's birthday yesterday 24 years old hey al went for a nice meal with um, his sister and her husband and the little one and his mum Quite nice that, nice quiet meal. Um, we've not been in for the last three days because uh, we're waiting for this scaffold to go up. Obviously we need a scaffold for that and we need one around the back. So we um, spoke to the customer last night and he asked if, if we could put a lintel in this. He asked me if I need it, I said well it's not critical but he's decided he wants it doing, which is fair enough. So we've picked up a 750 angle line which you've seen us in berries. Got a 904 by 3 for the inside. <clears throat> so um, because it's such a tiny upstand we're just going to take two courses out on this so we're going to take four out of there and the five out above cavity tray blah 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 the usual stuff but um it's quite soft this so it's a quick saws all job we're just waiting for the car to get moved so we don't cover it in dust and we're all set up oh. so we're all set up ready to go so um, alex is just upstairs 
measuring up um, his block sizes, just see him on the landing there. So he's going to get all his cuts done and then it's meant to be your end this afternoon so hopefully these lads will be putting the scaffold up and we'll be inside doing the internal block work because it's all, I think we've already shown it on the last video but it's all chopped out, ready to go. So it's straightforward block work up there, both rooms. So yeah, we're all set up. Those bricks are a great match. Obviously a bit light at the moment, but they'll soon weather down, go a bit darker. But a uh, good, good, uh, good texture. A lot better than the first ones we looked at, which were bright orange, which are probably as orange as that garage. So um, yeah, probably a better match than those ones there. So yeah, time to stop waffling and get up there with the sawzall. Obviously once the car's gone, so we'll catch you in a bit. Now that's a nice fit. Bed under that, point it up, job's a good one. Right, there's all my gear. Knife, insulation knife, weep vents, tuck pointer which I've just used. I'll just help me insert the, um, and just make out the concrete lintel there. That was great that, just marked it out, drilled it each side and just got the saws all straight across the top. Letterbox straight in, bedded on, pointed it up. Jobs are good. In. And because this we've got such a small upstand on the lintel, uh, we've only took two courses out. We normally take three to give us plenty of room. On on some of the wider ones, we need to take four out really. But um, Alex is up there doing the block work on the landing, and I'm going to get this bit done. I've just bedded the lintel on. I'm just cutting the um, my little bits of insulation that go in behind the lintel. So they go in there, and then our cavity tray is going to get nailed onto the onto the block here, nice and easy. Bit of bead of silicon across the top. Um, for those people who have a goal, us, we're not chasing it into the block work. It doesn't need chasing, as long as it is flat on the inside skin. The cavity tray is to catch water in the cavity and on the back of the outside skin. It's not there to catch water on the inside skin because it's very almost impossible for water to get on that skin unless there's a leak upstairs or you've got hundreds of really bad tie wires that let the water cross it's never that bad because even on new builds when you put the step cavity trays up along uh, roofers 
when you put step cavity trays in the, the plastic pre preform ones they just rest against the inside skin they're not built in at all so this is perfectly fine so I'm going to get the rest of this insulation in get the cavity tray done and get this brick working before the rain gets too heavy it's spotting now but as you can see on the spot board so let's get cracking and get this done might just put a pack under the middle though it's been such a small lintel just to stop it it's flexing like that so anyway back to time lapse and I'll get this sorted There we go. Bit bit rough at the moment, but it's wet, so it needs pointing. The mortar's quite wet, so all the original bricks save them all. You can just about see the upstand in there, next to the vent. And we've got three vents: cavity tray, lintel, two lintels. Jobs are good. That. That gets the award for the most straightforward lintel we've ever done, I think. <laughs> yeah. Inside and out done. Cracking job that. So I'm just going to get this tidied up and pointed up and get all this dropped. And then Alex is nearly done up there. Then we've just got the bathroom to do. And that's all the inside work done then. Then all that's left to do then once the scaffold up is window, brick up, lintel, round the back, window out, brick up. That's it. And as I say, we've got the dummy frames there, which we're going to fix in like that and build in. Whereas this one fitted in the hole, they're going to form the window and we're going to build up to them. So it's going to give us a form to work to. So I have to make sure they're in nice and plumb. So Robin gets windows in. So yeah, it's time to get this lot pointed up and get this dropped and then go and have a quick dinner. We've been dead lucky so far because it's not rained yet. So. Yeah, this, that's all the outside work done for today. I've messaged Malcolm the scaffold and not had anything back yet. He did say try and get here Friday. So hopefully we'll see him here sometime today. Fingers crossed. So, um, right, get back to you in a minute. Should be kept to a certain minimum. Do you think there is a moral duty, Professor Thomas, on doctors to go to work and help their patients, whatever is in their pay packet? I actually do. Um, I would never have gone on strike myself, personally. But I think there's going to be some improvement, and I would suggest 12%. Thank you. 12%? Okay, thank you very much. Professor Jade Myron Thomas, former cancer surgeon, and Professor Shackleton, Len Shackleton, of the uh, University of Buckingham, discussing the the, the, the the one standout thing from Rishi Sunak's announcement yesterday, which is the gap between what the junior doctors want and what he's offering. So they want 35, and he's offering 6. In lots of other areas, strikes will stop, but not this one.
was a long clip, I thought that was time lapsing. There you go, done. Just need to trim that damp course off underneath. Um, do that off a hop up. But yeah, that's done. Nice to be able to just take two courses out for a change. Nice and straightforward that. So yeah, Alex is done up there. You should be able to see there. Let me just see through the glass. That's done. We've just got the bathroom to do now, so we're gonna have a bit of dinner. Alex can get a bit of a mix in. I'll get tidied up here. Get all the trestles back in the van because I don't need these anymore. And then um, get that thing rattled off this afternoon and get going. No sign of Malcolm so far, so I'll give him another text. So we'll catch us at dinner. Nice job, Dad. Thank you. Rain's here. So, yeah, rain's here. Lintel's in. Three nice little wheat vents. So I'll take you inside and show you what we've been up to. Well, what I've been up to and what Dad is going to be up to. There you go, there's a nice little look at the concrete lintel. I forgot about that. And you're finishing off today, haven't you? That just needs pointing up. Same up here. Got that done. Let's see. Stand this way so you can get the light. There we go. So top bit just needs point in there, and then this needs finishing. I made a start with the bricks, but we've run out. So I need like two, two three quarters there just to keep it, keep it from having a small bit, and then three quarters of block. Well, there you go. there's my blocks. So there we go. Yeah, it's uh, it's not the most fun task because it's very cramped and uh, I had to reset all these bricks because I don't know if you can tell but I took all this off obviously over here but just look, the blocks are just in such a poor condition, the levels are different, the, some of the blocks have been broken away completely so it just took a bit of trial and error getting them level, I had to kind of work, I had to work one way then work backwards to get to where I, where it is now but Obviously, that'll get tidied up on the block work. Got my plugs ready. And uh, I can t I'll show you quick before anyone starts complaining. There you go. Tire wires. That's the only way they could go in at the moment because, obviously, until that scaffold's up, they still need a house to be waterproof. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's everything. Tire wires in. The screw ties are in there. We, once this window's out, when the scaffold's going in, we can get it that side and get that flushed up and tidy. So for now, I will set you up on time lapse somewhere. I'm going to get a mix in in that sodding rain, and then we'll get working. Catch you in a bit. There we go. That's the lintel officially finished. Good job, Dad. And, oh, this has just been a slog, this part, but that part's done. As I was showing you before, that's, um, that's a top point to that. Once the window's out, we can get it at it from the back as well then, just to get any bits we've missed. Especially on this one, because this one's finished, but as you see, the tiles are in the way, top pointing. So, we're going to get, when we come back here, when the scaffold's up, we're going to top point it from the back instead and then we can patch up any gaps there as well but that was that was a challenge but that's the block work done so now unfortunately um scaffold's not going to be here till monday because malcolm our scaffold guy is at an operation but we've just real found out so um he's trying to get his lad sorted out which sucks for us but it's one mm -hmm. of those things so task now is get this as tidy as we can get it and get ourselves ready for Monday. So, see you then. Good Monday morning, Monday the 17th of July and it's about 10 past 8. Currently putting this up, which is our rickety old scaffold. The only reason I'm putting this up is for one brick, which is way up there, uh, round here somewhere, because you've got the crack from the lintel where the, the rush jacking's gone, it's fallen its way all the way on there and gone up there, but when it's gone up it's took a brick with it, so the customer said he wants that brick replaced, so we're putting this up to get us up there to replace that brick, and then we'll move along and get this, this bed pointed up, and then hopefully by then the scaffold lads will have been and put our scaffold up, 
I've been told today, but no one here yet. Oh, this is the, this we're gonna get concentrated on this one today because today's probably the best day of the week. So I want to get this done and then that leaves with this one up here. And the thing with that one is we'll be able to rig something up off the roof with a bit of plastic or something if we need to for a bit of a shelter. Whereas here we're exposed. So I want to get this one done. Plus this this has got lintel to do as well. So there's more work involved in this one. That one's pretty straightforward. So yeah, we're gonna whip this scaffold up quick as we can, get that brick out, get the pointing done, and then see see where we get from see where we get on from there. So um, yeah, we're going off again. We keep we keep we can't get going because we can't get. Obviously, we need the scaffold to finish this job. So he did say today. So fingers crossed it'll be here. But until then, we'll just crack on. Right, what are we on? One o'clock, isn't it? Cause it's just had the news. Yes. Yes. And we thought we were packing up and going home, but the lads turned up about an hour ago and whacked these two up in, in good time. Yeah, so I packed all the van up. So Alex thought he was going home, so I've disappointed him. It's not that, it's the fact that just... It's going shit. <laughs> yeah, so we're all set. So... The plan now is just do the take the brickwork out of the lintel today. We're not going to take the window out, it's too late. So um, I'm going to jump up on this one, which is the side window. The uh, back one. All sorted. Again, that's um, that's going to be awkward because it's the scaffold's high. But because of the ridge on the porch, it's like it's where, where to put the actual deck. So um we're going to take the uh, soil pipe out and use the, the saws all for the tooth in there and then put the, the, st uh, the stink pipe back on after. Um, so no windows out today now, it's too late. If we took a window out now, I'd be here till 7 o'clock tonight. So um, we're going to concentrate on the lintel and even if we don't get any brickwork back in, we'll get it taken out and propped up ready for tomorrow and then just concentrate on all brickwork tomorrow. So uh, when we're back tomorrow, I can jump on this one, Alex can jump on this one. We'll see how it goes anyway. So. I'll take you up there and we'll start taking some of this brickwork out and get it propped up ready for the new lintel. So I'll catch you up there. the first few I've got out. As usual, it's never as easy as you think. It's rock hard because this is jacked all the way across. It's absolutely knackered. So it's not just listed in one spot like it usually does. Look at that. That is tripled in thickness that. So you can see the big bed where everything's lifted. And then it's pushed up, pushed up there, pushed along there, pushed the whole pike all the way across there. So that whole pike has been lifted by 10mm. It's all held in, there's no danger of it falling down, it's just full, obviously got a big crack in now, so there's water getting in. You can see here the water running down here, as I was drilling here, water is pouring out of it. And if you look at this tray, this tray wasn't doing much because it's dished. So, where's the water supposed to go? I think back then, the, the idea of the water on the tray was to go along the edge and run off into the cavity and down into the floor. But um, obviously modern 
one ones you, you, it's all sealed and you've got the vents in it but um, this thing was holding water and it wasn't going anywhere because it poured out when I was drilling into it you see how wet the water is up there it's still wet up there so um, that's obviously getting in here so um, Alex, I'm just going to jump down there now and get the get the hole cut out for the bottom strong boy and then get this one propped up because the way the crack is they only get this propped here before I carry on and usually they all come out loose but it's jacked up that tight it's they're solid and it's hard to cut the same as the saws all because of um, this um, bitumen cavity tray is just fouling the saw and just slowing it down but as we always do we just persevere and keep going yeah, yeah we've been on the radio today with Clive talking about neighbours <laughs> but um, yeah just a quick recap all those halves and three quarters are coming out and we're going to break up to there and then from there we'll be putting a new lintel in across here with a new tray so it's only a little lintel but we have to take all this out which is a shame but anyway well I only have to take it out to there no I don't have to take it all out because I've got a little lintel out <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably take out three courses out of there and then just take one course out there so we can slide the lintel out. No? Yes? Yeah, because the new trays only come from here. Yeah, yeah it's, it, we've, ne we've never done one like this before, like reducing the window, new lintel, new... It's like two jobs in one. So it's just getting me head around it. So yeah, we've got to come to here, probably about here. Take these out to there. And from there we'll just take the bottom out so we can slide the lintel out of the, this rotten piece of crap. Let me just get a show you how bad it is. It's gone bottom and back. So I've knocked all that off the top and it's still still 20 mil thick. that corrodes you could probably snap it. You could probably bend it. You can actually do that with an angle line. Doesn't, that's the core that's left that isn't rusted. The rest of it's rusted away. So there's the core that's left, probably about 5 mil. The rest of it's crumbled. But under compression, it's, it's like the strongest thing in the world. Nothing stops it. So yeah, I've got to get this acro in and crack on. So catch you in a bit. And we're out. That was friggin' hard work. They don't usually put up a fight like that. But this was hard mortar. A lot harder than down there. It just proves when it's mixed, it's inconsistent. So look at the state of this lintel. I think this takes the award for the worst one we've had. Look at that. Sorry about the wind. But it's blowing a gale away. Let me just give it a prod. That is powerful. Powerful stuff. It's rusted that much, there's not much actual unrusted steel left. The actual core is very thin. Rotten. Look at, look at the thickness of that. 
不是钱没有了。Anyway, that's enough prodding. It's time to tidy up and go home. We're all propped up. So yeah, I'm going to tidy up up here. And we're going to get out of here. Back tomorrow. Hope the weather isn't too too nasty to us. Again, sorry about the wind, but yeah, I'm going to put the top here, so I'm a bit of a pain to put the mics on. So I'm going to whip this thing out now. You can see it's about 160 seat in there. About 100 there. Right, and you just centre it. We'll be take, cutting this off and tucking our tray underneath this lip. I'm running a bit of silicon in it so it's all sealed. But um, yeah, that's tomorrow. So this thing will actually pull out. There's no fixings in the windows, believe it or not. Another bit of pointing up there to do and get this back in. So tomorrow is whip the window out, tooth it out, get the brickwork across, lintel on and brick, brick that up. So we've gone over by a day now. That's what the scaffolds cost us, an extra day's labour. But these things happen. So let's get this thing tied up and get, get out of here. Right. That's it for today. I actually just took the rubbish down in the tub. This is a coffee made while we tidy up, which is great. I'm going to get this stuff down. There's what's left of the bricks. I've got some other bricks here. This is just wedged up. Just it doesn't even have to be in tight, it's just stop anything dropping. Not that anything is good, give this a bang and it's solid. This has got the two strong boys in and acros down onto the other strong boys into the wall. Got a little hack there. And yeah. That's pretty solid. That's lifted from there. That's just put in again temporary. That could come out tomorrow. This is just because we're leaving it overnight. Like I say, we never usually leave this overnight. But uh, that's the way it is today. It was, it, was, it was that or go home at dinner time. And we've had a glorious afternoon, so we've made good uh, good progress. So yeah, nice solid wood lintel. Get the uh, tray under there. And um, get the blitz stuff tomorrow, get all these get all the back of Alex's block where it tidied up that he obviously couldn't get out when he built it and finish off the tuck point in there at the back. And uh, yeah. Pretty sure the three quarters are gonna be coming out tomorrow as well, so quite a bit to come out. We I hope we've still got to skip on from one of our last jobs and then just we'll just ask that customer if they're it, they'll let us just drop a bit of rubbish in that skip. So yeah, let's get this all the stuff and get on home.